बोले गणपति भगवान की जय भवानी शंकर भगवान की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय सियावर राम चंद्र की जय बाल कृष्ण लाल की जय ओम श्री गुरुदेव वक्रतुंद महाकाय सूर्यकोटि समप्रभा निर्विघ्न कुर्मे देव सर्वकारेशु सर्वंगल मंगल्ये शिवे सर्वाट साधिके शरण्ये त्रयंबिके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तुते वंदे देव उमापतिं सुरगुरुं वंदे जगत कारणम वंदे पन्नग भूषणम रिगधरम वंदे पशुनाम पदिम वंदे सूर्य शशांक वाहन नयनम वंदे मुकुंद प्रियम वंदे भक्त जनाश्रयंच वरदम वंदे शिवं शंकरं श्री गुरु चरण सरोज रज निज मन मुकुर सुधार परनो रघुवर विमल जसु जोदायक फलचारी बुद्धिहीन तनु जानी के सुमिरो पावन कुमार बल बुद्धि विद्या दे हो मुही हर हुकलेश विकार राम जी से राम राम कहियो कहियो जी हनुमान जी ए राम जी से राम राम कहियो कहियो जी हनुमान जी जय हनुमान ज्ञान गुण सागर जय कपीश तिन लोक उजागर राम दूत अतुलित बलधाम अंजन पुत्र पवन सुत राम ओ महावीर विक्रम बजरंगी तुम तनिवार सुमत के संगी कंचन वरन विराज सुदेश आनंद कुंतल कुंचित के साथ भक्त और भजा विराजे कान्हे मुझ जगे मुसाजे शंकर सुबल के सुनी नंदन तेज प्रताप महाजगवन विद्यावान गुनी यति चात राम काज करे बेगो आतुर प्रभु जरित सुनी बेगो नसिया राम लक्ष्मण सीता मन बसिया सूक्ष्म रूप धर सिया ही दिखावा विकट रूप धरि रंग जरावा भीम रूप धरि असुर समारे राम चंद्र के कार्य सवारे बोलाए से जीवन लक्ष्मण जियाए श्री रघुवीर हरशुल राए रघुपति की भी बाउद बनाए भरत श्रीपति कंत लगावे सनकादिक ब्रह्मादि मुनि सारद सारद सहित कबीर दिख पाल जहाते कवि गोविंद कही सके I'm 
मन पे सारे सब सुख रहे तुम्हारी शरणा तुम्हें दर्शन का हो तो हो आप तेज समारो आप लोक हाथ पे तापे भूत पिसाज निकट नहीं आवे महावीर जब नाम सुना आपसे लोग हरे सब पीरा जब निरंतर हनुमत मेरा संकट से हनुमान सुना मन कर वचन ध्यान जो लावे सब पर राम तपस्वी राजा दिन के कार्य से कर तुम साजा और मनोरथ जो कोई हनुमत से सब सुख कर ही संगत कते निके सब पीरा जो सुमिरे हनुमत पद पे वो बोलो जय जय हनुमान की बात रो गुरु देव की नारी जो सत बार बात कर कोई छूट ही बंदी महासुत हो जो यहाँ पर हनुमान चली सा हो इसे भी सामी गौरी सा तुलसी दास सदा है चेरा संकत हरण मंगल मूरति रूप राम लखन सीता सहित हृदय में बस सुरभूप बोले पवन सुत हनुमान की जय सिया भज राम चंद्र की जय वी विल हैव भूमि भूमिका आई विल सिंग वन भजन मुझे चरणों से लगा ले मेरे श्याम मुरली वाले अ ब्यूटीफुल भजन तो भगवान श्री कृष्ण ऑन एन एक्सट्रीमली ब्यूटीफुल वेंसडे इवनिंग हेयर एट लीस्ट इन ब्रामटन होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर वेल इन द यू नो ब्लेसेड प्लेस दैट यू लिव इन एंड वी हैव सो मच टू टॉक अबाउट एंड सेलिब्रेट दिस इवनिंग मुझे चरणों से लगा ले मेरे शाम मुरली वाले मुझे चरणों से लगा ले मेरे शाम मुरली वाले मेरे सास सास में तेरा हे नाम मुरली वाले मुझे चरणों से लगा ले मेरे शाम मुरली वाले Okay. 
चरणों से लगा रहे मेरे शाम मुरली वाले रफीत और श्री कृष्ण भगवान भी बाओ एंड नव वृंदावल सिंह दाता एक राम भिकारी सारी दुनिया देर इज ओनली वन गिवर इन दिस वर्ल्ड वन गिवर इन दिस वर्ल्ड और भिकारी सारी दुनिया द एंटायर वर्ल्ड ऑफ कोर्स वी आर एट हिज डोर्स आर्म्स सो तो भगवान राम जी sari duniya and uh, when you know so much has been accumulated in life no no when so much has been accumulated in life form fame wealth mansions rightly so there is nothing absolutely wrong with that 
let us remember, my friends, that if we take all the wealth of the world and all the accomplishments of the world or all the talent of the world or all the intelligence of the world and you put it together, it is equal to less than speck of a dust in front of God. Right? That is why I always say we never show up to God. We never show up at his doors with, of course, uh, an identity because he will laugh at us. Bhikari sari dunya data ek ram. Bhikari sari dunya. There is only one giver in this world. There is only one that is uh, wealthy in this world. And that is Bhagwan. That is Bhagwati. All of us in front of them. I'm to bhikari hai Tu dayalu din mein Tu dayalu din mein Tu dani mein bhikari Tu dayalu You are the merciful. I am the one who needs mercy. Tu dali me bhikari or the giver, I'm the beggar. Me prasiddh paat ki tu paap punjahari. I am the one who is, uh, of course, roaming for your uh, identity, Prabhu. Please accept us. A pranam to all of you this evening from, uh, of course, from around the world, wherever you're looking from. And uh, welcome to the second to last consecutive session for Shanti Satsang. Night number 149, 149. Well, you know, <laughs> tomorrow as we do 150 nights of celebration to bring this record celebration together uh, uh, to a closure, I have, I cannot tell you, you know, I work from home, obviously, like you know already, and I, um, I am <laughs> doing work calls and I'm doing calls on the side, right? And uh, I, I don't want you to please promise me one thing. Promise me one thing, that you will not become depressed over this. <laughs> because I think some of you will. Um, we are not going away forever. You have to understand, at least four days of the week we will be on the air with you. At least four days. Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Sunday. Minimum. We'll be on the air back with you. It is not the... the the conclusion, we're just concluding the 150 consecutive nights, right? Consecutive. So um, don't be sad about it, especially our seniors. I, I know you need something, so we'll be there for you. I promise you we'll be there for you. But, um, you know, it is so nice to see the kind of attachment we have developed for each other. And I don't want to talk about that today because, um, you know, Tonight is a night I want to sing a little bit and celebrate and uh, enjoy, um, you know, this hour that we have with you. Um, this evening, friends, we want to do some reflection um, in memory of a gentleman who I happen to have known very well. Um, and the text is on the screen. I don't have to read that to you, and I will, but uh, this is a, a gentleman from our village, um, Mr. Kushdev Prasad, or everybody know him as Uncle Lydie. Uncle Lydie, I don't know who in the village, at least in that time, and even now, uh, uh, who didn't know him. Not because of any other reason, but because of the gentleman, of the kind of person he was. And uh, his pictures, uh, you know, uh, being projected there, uh, when he came to Canada, he spent a little time here with his family, and uh, he left. Eleven years ago today, he left. This was uh, the foremost among gentlemen. I say that because the kind of help and support. He was a man with a lot of connections back home. He, uh, he was known for that famous orange car that he had. <laughs> 
That is the oldest car I have ever known in the village, but boy, it ran like a horse. And uh, you, whenever you see the orange car, you know that's Uncle Lighty. Um, he kept it so well. I think later on he bought another car, but that was the signature car in the village um, for us. But not about the car, but the kind of a man he was. You know, he used to do trips from the village to Georgetown um, every day. And when that time when you're in Barbies and, uh, you know, you need something in Georgetown, you just don't go in a bus and go to Georgetown, right? It was expensive to do that. You don't just uh, jump in your car because not a lot of people had car those days, right? So when it was time for school opening and we have to buy books, like textbooks, we would go to Uncle ID and he would, of course, uh, nicely... Uh, take, uh, you know, the opportunity to buy our books for us and bring it down to the village from Georgetown. Whenever we'd need a, a passport, uh, a birth certificate issue, a government problem, he just knew everybody. He just knew every. He was a man with connections. And that kind of a way, he helped so many people in our village and um, really well respected. His family, of course, and us, our family and, and their family go way back since we were children. I remember when I was little going to... Uh, um, cotton tree uh, Hindu man there. I was very little. I was fetching my Ramayana every evening going and um, uh, his daughters, uh, they were very young and uh, he would stand with them there and, and we would chat a little bit about temple and he would say he wants to involve them and so on. Very nice time back in the village. Today um, I have the liberty and the pleasure to be with uh, some of his family and um, of course to, you know, to live in this beautiful community with their help and their cooperation. In memory of uh, Kushdeo Prasad, uh, also known as Uncle Lydi, who departed, that says departed, but it's departed from this world uh, to Bhagwan's abode 11 years ago. You are missed by your wife, Auntie Pala, who still maintains her grace and dignity. Your children, Annie and Ravi, Jay and Azad, Joan and Alston, and Janice, and Janice and Anand. Your grandchildren, Anaya, Aruna, Aditya, Amira, Ashna, Avish, Anish, Yadavi, and Panita. We love and miss you, our king. And that is what he was to not only to this family, but uh, to everyone who uh, he came in contact with. Bhagwan bless his souls. Uh, his soul, 11 years ago, uh, was just like yesterday when he passed away. And we pray and ask that may Shri Krishna Bhagwan guide him accordingly and more so bless his family. Bless his family who today lives um, distant from him. So we sing a beautiful song and uh, seek the blessings of Bhagwan on all of you. <laughs> हे मनवारे मनवा जीवन है संग्राम भजले राम 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 भजले राम 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 भजले राम 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 भजले राम 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 मनवारे मनवा जीवन है संग्राम मनवा Let it all 
fruits of his karma and to uh, his wife and all his children, grandchildren, Bhagwan's blessings always. Well, we are coming to the, uh, you know, second to last day of our consecutive program. And um, by the way, I, I take offense. Mm -hmm. I take offense. Awesome. Big, big offense. <laughs> Everybody's saying, um, what? A buon, um, you look so handsome in your hair cut. <laughs> um, hello? Yes. You know, it's not born alone who had a hair cut, right? <laughs> you know, I had a hair cut too, right? Um, like, you know, he had a hair cut, I had a hair cut, Akash had a hair cut. Now, I can understand you can't see him, but I had a hair cut too. So, what is the problem? Mine just looks better than you. <laughs> are we are we relaxers yet? <laughs> no, no, I don't understand this. Anyways, so we all had a haircut today. It was a last minute call or run over, get a haircut, came over and <laughs> uh, started the program. Um, I have to tell you that uh, this program has been been so relaxed with all of you. You've of course become family and. Uh, uh, over the over the past what 149 days and I feel so relaxed being with you every evening I want to keep the last two evenings very light as I did you know a few evenings ago let's have fun spirituality religion God is not about seriousness you know um, when we were growing up you would probably remember right your parents would all tell you by always be serious you know and if you laugh too much they'll tell you hey don't laugh so much, and when and they'll probably feel a little, a little offended. And if you're laughing too much, they say, "You know what happened? After laugh, I cry." Oh. All right, and so everybody would be afraid to laugh. <laughs> like, you know, if you're like laughing too hard, and and the parents come around, don't laugh, <laughs> because uh, <laughs> you would you'd be afraid that uh, you know they tell you after laugh is cry. But I tell you, my friends, what is love? With, what is life without joy? What is life without bliss? What is life without you? Good companionship. What is life without each other? 
it is just, my friends, as Chanak Niti says, Yesham na vidya na tapo na dhanam na cha pishila na guno na dharma te mar chalo ke bhuivav bhuktam manushya rupe bhagajaranti. We'll be like a corpse on this earth without joy, without laughter, and, uh, you know, uh, without, uh, you know, all this beautiful companionship that we have established. So let us enjoy and, uh, and, stay, and stay relaxed. Just, uh, uh, you know, stay yourself. It is, uh, you know, coming to the, almost to the end of summer here in Canada. There isn't much we can do, but I guess, you know, guess what? We can enjoy the company of each other. We can enjoy no matter wherever you are. Regardless of wherever you are, you can enjoy the company of God. You can enjoy the company of Bhagwan. I may not physically enjoy the company of somebody or somebody to me or on the air, but I gotta tell you, whether you're in Guyana, many of you are, whether you're from America, whether you're from Canada, or wherever you are, you have access to him. You have access to him. And when you have access to Paramatma, to Parameshwari, then you have access to all of creation. When you have access to all of creation, you have the ability to choose the beautiful things in life and to let go of the thorns. No one goes to the garden and throw away the roses and flowers and let the weeds go. When we have access to creation, we have access to all forms of beauty and we have access to the ability to let go of the thorns of life. Let go of the thorns of life. So my friends, one of the things that really stifle us is something called Abhiman, something called pride. There is no time for pride in this life. There is no time to have pride in this life. When man is occupied with pride, there is no place for Prabhu in your life. God wants to be in a state uh, of bliss. God occupies, Valmiki Ji tells Bhagwan Ram where to go live. Go and live in the ears of Dinike Shravana Samudra Samana. Go and live in the hearts of those whose ears are always yearning. You know, their ears are big like the ocean, yearning to hear your katha. No? Go and live. There is no uh, place for pride in a man's life. Because wherever, uh, you know, whenever we occupy ourselves with pride, then what happens? Then God runs away. Mahalakshmi ran away from the heavens and went into Sagar, into the oceans, because there was confusion happening there. Pride blinds us. Pride confuses us. Pride, my friends, changes our identity. And God even failed to recognize us in this process. That's, therefore, the old bhajan tells us, we're going to sing some old bhajan tonight because this crowd likes a little bit of old bhajan. Mat kar tu abhiman re bande Jhuti tere shan re मत कर तू अभिमान मत कर तू अभिमान रे बंधे झूठी तेरे शान रे मत कर तू अभिमान everybody मत कर तू अभिमान रे बंधे Oh, 
लाखों इस माती ने खाए रहना नाम निशान रे बंधे मत कर तू अभिमान मत कर तू अभिमान रे बंधे झूठी थे रे शान रे है मत कर तू अभिमान माया कांत कार निराला बाहर उजला भी तरकाला माया कांत कार निराला बाहर उजला भी तरकाया कौन हुआ धनवान रे बंधे मत कर तू अभिमान मत कर तू अभिमान रे बंदे झूठी तेरे शान रे है मत कर तू अभिमान मत कर तू अभिमान मत कर तू अभिमान तेरे जैसे लाखों आए लाखों इस माती ने खाए just like you many have come many have come hundreds of thousands have come and those hundreds of thousands mati ne khaye the earth has swallowed them all na what are we proud about in this life what are we proud about in this life friends when we are nothing but a speck of dust a speck of dust in this whole cosmos na we are that what are we proud about माती कहे कुमार सो तू क्या रोंद है मोहे द पॉटर वॉज टेकिंग दिज व्हील एंड ही वॉज रॉन्गिंग एंड ही इज मैशिंग दर्थ टूगेदर एंड द अर्थ टोल्ड हिम टूडे ऑफ कोर्स यू आर मिंगजिंग मी एक दिन ऐसा आएगा वन डे विल कम वन आई विल बी मिंगजिंग यू अप मिंगजिंग वन आई विल बी क्रॉशिंग यू अप you're crushing me today a day will come when i will be crushing you as well my friends and this is the purpose of life is to really just be blissed out in a very divine way i'm so happy that uh, we have learned so much in shanti satsang today we were <laughs> discussing the kids and i we were discussing and uh, you know what can we do sunday to make it uh, uh, a nice celebration of 150th session because all of you are going to come to the mandir at 10 o'clock on sunday and we're going to have a very beautiful satsang and what can we do you know and we were thinking <laughs> we remember so many beautiful things i remember the day when we had our mala bags remember when we had our mala bags and we were japping om namo bhagavate vasudeva don japam om namo bhagavate vasudeva om namo bhagavate vasudevaya and then i pull out my pink bag and then i pull out my black bag and then i pull out my a uh, saffron one and uh, we pull out so many and we were comparing it to your type of purse the prada the guess the burberry the tory burch all of the brands that you carry and how many you carry and the appeal at that time was to of course just have one type you know one bag to put your little malas inside so you can uh, carry you know hari bhagwan's name with you My friends I hope and pray that Shanti Satsang a, a program that brought solace and peace to so many in challenging times will never be forgotten I've always uh, told you that this is not about me this is not about my family this is not about uh, you know anything personal this is about a connection we have made that is beyond the personal the self and it's uh, a connection of the soul because I feel connected uh my friends to all of you in so many ways so many ways and that is why tonight we will of course uh, reflect we will sing and uh we will keep you know singing in this beautiful beautiful relationship together 
सुर की गति में क्या जानू एक भजन करना जानू एक भजन करना जानू सुर की गति में क्या भजन का भी अति गहरा उसको भी मैं क्या जानू अर्थ भजन का भी अति गहरा उसको भी मैं क्या जानू प्रभु 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 करना जानू प्रभु 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 करना Pandit Jasraj ji passed away. He went to the supreme abode of Maa Saraswati Devi. Pandit Jasraj ji was, uh, when you talk about a person who maintained, you know, the tradition, traditional songs and the traditional style of singing, Pandit Jasraj ji was that person. If there is ever one, you know, he's Padma Bhushan, the highest civilian award that they can award, that they can give a person in India, he has received that. There isn't a, a Hindu who follow traditional teachings and traditional singing who doesn't or who does not know about Pandit Dasharaj He performed in the highest platforms of artists in the world. But he was more than an artist. He was, of course, a note in the book of music. Now that he has gone, music has lost a note, in my opinion. 90 years he lived on this planet. And for those 90 years, he has accomplished so much, not as a person, but he has accomplished the, the task given to him to spread Hindustani traditional classical music around the world, around the world. Leaders of nation have so much respect for him. The South have respect for him. The North have respect to him, for him, my friends, because of the way, you know, the way he carried himself. Pandit Jashraji foremost among traditional uh, bhajan singers and uh, 
traditional songs, he died. And it shows you, my friends, that there is still value in purity. There is still value in singing songs that are meaningful. There is still value in traditions. There is still value in tradition. He stuck to his tradition. He stuck to his tradition. My friends, I have to tell you that I will never, I will never wear a pants and a kurta and do a function, a Hindu ceremony. I never will. Because I believe that, when I wear a pants, I mean a, a, a whatever, a kurta pants or whatever. As a guest and so on, sometimes you wear it in your 10 functions, that's fine. But I will never do that, show up willfully at a, uh, to officiate a function where, you know, I'm dressed in a kurta and a pants. Never do that. Two reasons I will never do that. Traditions are made for a reason. There are some outdated traditions, right? They, they, and when I say outdated, they have no meaning, right? They are made by somebody because, and, you know, it's not a, a Vedic tradition or something. It's a family tradition, whatever. But there are those traditions that we have to keep in order to keep our culture alive. One of them is to dress appropriately, right? You go to the court, right? You go to the court. How do you see people dress? You go to a funeral. You see our own West Indian or Hindus wear on a nice suit, black suit with nice tie and all these kind of things. And the ladies were wearing their suit as well to go see a dead person. We dress in the most sophisticated manner to go see somebody who can't even appreciate the way we're dressed, right? This always uh, appeals to me in, in a not so nice way, right? Are bhai Prabhu, our West Indian people, I am I'm happy to say that you've always dressed in a very respectable and traditional manner when you go to your temple and always keep that up. But what am I, why am I talking about this? Because I think that Pandit Jashraj was one of those persons who uh, really maintained his tradition in the way he dressed, in the way he sang, in the way he presented his art, his traditions, and his culture. And today the world uh, has lost a genius in music. And I hope and pray that all of you out there, listen, you have to enjoy something. You have to have some sort of entertainment. But let it not be senseless one. Let it not be senseless entertainment. There is so much joy in simple things. There is so much joy in simple entertainment, you know? Keep it the way it is, my friends, by relating to our culture and expressing it in a very, very beautiful way. So, Suruki gati me kya jaanu, ek bhajan kar na jaanu. Although he knew so many hundreds of ragas, and he could go from one to the next and break them and make them back and everything, he always remained a very simple, a very, very simple man, Pandit Jashraji. So, of course, the world misses him. You can, you can actually YouTube him. Pandit Jashraji, he sang Bhajagovindam. He sang, um, uh, he sang all the Shiva Stutis and everything. He sang Panchaksha Stotram. He sang Mano Buddha in such a very classical way and a very upbeat way, enjoyable uh, way. He sang Mano Buddha So you can YouTube him and, uh, and enjoy his beautiful traditional Hindustani style music, my friends. Hindustani style music. Now, let us build a temple for God. A temple meaning you, we have constructed so many physical temples and all of them are important. Temples are the hub of our Hindu community. I have a, a, um, a video on YouTube regarding this. Right, it is the hub of our Hindu community, our temple. The temple is, 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 has become not a hub of the Hindu community and all, but a hub of the community where people of all races, come there, weddings are done at the Hindu temple, at our temple at least, different races, different religions. It brings people together, it exposes our culture. It is done, my friends, to <clears throat> a Hindu temple rather, is much more than a place of worship today. It is a, a place where, of course, uh, people socialize, people dance, people eat at, uh, people have a, a place of shelter for a few hours or however long they spend there. But that is not only a temple. We have to build that temple, that mobile temple with us. That mobile temple. This mobile word, mobile, it was not invented by the West. You know that. Sanjaya, in the time of Mahabharat, was able to project the war on a screen, wireless projection on a screen, and, and uh, speak to Dhritarashtra about it. He was in Hastinapur, 
which is about eight, eight, nine hours drive to Kuruchetra. He was able to, for, uh, you know, do his Wi-Fi powers, project it on the wall. This idea of mobile has nothing to do with the West. It is discovered by the West, but implemented by Hindus, by the East. So, Tere Poojan Ko Bhagavan Bana Man Mandir Ali Shah, na? Don't wait alone on a physical temple. Most of them are closed now, are operating on COVID hours. But you have your mobile temple. You have your mobile temple, and that's your mind. And so, this final song we'll sing tonight. Tere Poojan Ko Bhagavan Bana Man Mandir Ali Shah. Make your mind a temple. Make you this mobile temple, na? तेरे पूजन को भगवान बना मन मंदिर आलीशान तेरे पूजन को मेरे राम बना मन temple accompany you and that is the purity of your mind we close with our usual hanumanji chalisa please join with us shri guru charan saroj rajan jman mukur sudhar varno raghubar bimal jasu jodayak phal char bodhi natan jani ke sumiro pavan kumar phal buddhi vidya dehu muhi हरे जय हनुमान ज्ञान गुण सागर जय कपीश दिन लोग उजागर राम दूत Yeah.
Tomorrow program is from 6 to 7 p.m. by the way. 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Please don't. Uh, I have to go to uh, perform a very important matikur tomorrow. Something I couldn't uh, put off. So um, uh, tomorrow we'll uh, start at 6 p.m. Finish at 7. And uh, I hope to see all of you. It's our grand conclusion. Not that we will not be online again. But uh, we ask you to come online tomorrow. And let's uh, celebrate and reflect and talk about... Uh, the future. Twameva Mata Chapita Twameva Twameva Bandhus Chasaka Twameva Twameva Vidya Dravinam Twameva Twameva Sarvam Mamade Bade. Asato ma sat gamaya, tam so ma jyotir gamaya, mrityor ma amritam gamaya. Om shanti 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 hariyo. Prem se bolo Sri Ganapati Bhagavan ki, Bhavani Shankar Bhagavan ki, Pavan Sut Hanuman ki, Siyavaj Ramachandra ki, Radha Krishna Bhagavan ki, Jagadambika Mata ki, Satya Sanatan Dharma Ki Sab Koye Jai Jai Sita Ram Have a blessed night, Shubhratri Namaste, Jai Shri Krishna, Jai Sita Ram See you all tomorrow Love you all and stay blessed